What's up y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I showed you guys how many times a week to train your booty. If that's something you have a hard time planning out, then go ahead, pause this video and check it out right here before we get started. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can gain muscle with protein shakes. Okay, it wasn't that dramatic, but yes, protein shakes. I'll be explaining when to take it, what kind to take, how much to take, and what to mix it with. So if you're someone who struggles with consuming all of your protein from just food, and I know you are, like I know you are not getting enough protein from just your food, like I just know it. I know you're not. So if that's you, go ahead, keep on watching. So just like in my previous videos, I have split this up into four simple steps so you can have a better and clear understanding. Step number one, what kind of protein should you take? Should you take soy? Should you take pea? Should you take rice? Should you take hemp? Should you take whey? Should you take casein? Should you take mixed plants? Should you take egg? There's literally so many different kind of proteins you probably didn't even know. Half of those were like protein. It can be very, very confusing and difficult on which certain one you want. Studies have shown that people have seen the most, most muscle growth with either whey or casein. You're probably like, well, what's the difference, Grace? Come on, what's the difference? The main difference between whey and casein is just the pace of digestion. Whey protein is a faster digesting protein, which means it can get to your muscles quicker to repair and build them faster, which increases protein synthesis. I mean, they both, casein and whey, their goal is to increase protein synthesis synthesis but one just does it faster and one doesn't whey is usually ideal when you need it to get to the muscles quicker because it is fast digesting that's why people usually take it right after the workout because that is when it's mostly that's when it's needed like right away after your workout okay not right away but i'll get more into that but all in all whey is just digesting at a faster pace. casein casein digests at a slower pace it's a slow digesting protein which means it takes longer to get to the muscles and slowly releases the amino acids throughout a longer time period this is why casein is usually taken right before bed because of its ability to digest slower but it's good to take it right before bed because that's when your body's recovering that's when your muscles are rebuilding that's when everything's like you you you're getting a recharge when you're sleeping. That's why casein before bed is so fucking good. So fucking good. 90% of your muscle recovery is while you are sleeping. So why wouldn't you want to have your protein during that time? Make sense? Casein also keeps you fuller longer. I mean, they both keep you pretty full, but casein keeps you full longer just because it absorbs so much fucking water. Like, that shit's thick. The first time I tried it, I was like, nah. I had to put, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of, li of liquid. Compared to whey, whey is just like, <laughs> but casein is like, <laughs> But casein does keep you fuller longer and a steadier release of nutrients to your body. Okay, so you're probably like, mm, which one should I take? Well, I suggest you take both. If you personally need two protein shakes a day to meet your overall protein intake, then yeah, I would recommend doing both. If you need two, you might as well just do both. They both have the same goal to build muscle right the only difference between the two is the pace of their digestion so that's why i recommend whey before or after your workout or casein before bed or both i do both that's how i went from this if you only need one protein shake to meet your overall protein intake then you can just choose whey or casein it's totally up to you it does not need to be both like i'm just giving you suggestions and kind of what i've done that i've seen insane growth with i just know if you do do both you will not be unhappy with it you can always take whey before or after your workout or you can even take casein before or after even before and after at the end of the day they both have the jobs of repairing muscles step Two, how much protein should you be taking? The amount of protein you need can vary from 0.5 grams to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. For example, I'm, 20, I'm like 120 pounds, so I need at least 120 
grams of protein. I just multiplied it by one gram. Honestly, at this point, it's probably 120 point. 120 times 1.5, so let me see what that is. Because you girl can't just do mental math like that. 180? Shit. I probably do eat about 180, not gonna lie. At least like 150. The more lean muscle mass that you have, the more protein that you're going to need. Which is why it goes from 0 0.5 all the way up to 1.5. So if you times 1.5 times your body weight, that's how much protein you need. So most protein powders, well all protein powders, come with the serving size on the nutrition label. The ideal amount for like an average person is 20 to 40 grams per serving. Essentially what you want to do is just take the amount of protein that you need to reach your overall protein intake. If you'd like to see a video on how to calculate your protein intake and see how much fucking shit your body needs, how much macros your body needs, go ahead and give it a like or a comment down below. Give it a like. <laughs> go ahead and give it a like or comment down below and I will go ahead and do that for you. But don't forget that protein is just there to supplement your nutrition already. Don't think just because you start taking protein shakes, like, oh my god, this magical shit's gonna happen. Yes, you are definitely going to see a lot of changes, but your nutrition needs to be like at least 80% clean and 20% whatever the fuck you want. You still gotta live, like shit. Of course, you want to try to get all of your protein from just your food, but that is literally impossible to do. In order to get like all the protein that you need, you would eat to, you would need to eat like pounds of meat. That's just gonna come with a bunch of excess carbs, excess fats that you don't need. So why not just get a fucking shake with pure just protein? Got some fat, got some protein, but like my opinion. It's my opinion. So the amount of protein that you take is going to vary on you and your goal. For me to reach my own protein intake, I need to drink two shakes a day because I do not get enough protein from just food and I eat a lot of meat. I make sure I get the amount needed just for my food. And I know some of you are going to be like, okay, well, what if I'm trying to lose weight? Can I still take protein if I'm trying to lose weight? Yes, you can. Of course you can. Protein itself is not going to make you gain weight. It's the amount of protein that you take that's going to make you gain weight or lose weight. If you do it correctly, you can do both. That's why knowing your macros is so freaking important because you don't know how much you're eating. You don't know how much you should be eating. Like, Just track it for one day just so you can get an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. And then just eyeball it the rest of the other days. Step three, when should you take your protein? So like I just mentioned before, whey protein is best to take post-workout. Casein is best to take right before bed. There are no strict rules saying that it needs to be taken at these time periods. But if you're working out in a fasted state, like empty stomach, you're working out fasted, then it's best to consume your protein shake after your workout. No shit, because you're trying to be fasted. You're not fasted if you drink a protein shake before your workout, right? So you want to do it after your workout. So if you are fasting and doing intermittent fasting or whatever, make sure you time your workout so that you don't break your fast period. Does that make sense? So say like you start eating at 12, maybe work out at 10. Don't work out at like 7 in the morning because shit, you're done at like what, 9? You still can't eat until 12. You're going to be hungry. Your muscle's going to want the protein too. So make sure it's around your... um fasting period. If you do have a pre-workout meal with high protein, then consuming a shake right after your workout is not extremely necessary, especially for someone who's trying to lose weight. But if you need the extra protein and you had a pre-workout meal with high protein, I would recommend drinking a shake after. Not that it's going to make you like if you are trying to lose weight, not that it's going to make you gain weight. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to already be in a caloric deficit, so most likely you don't need that extra protein shake. But if you have a pre-workout meal with high protein and you don't want to drink a protein shake after, that would be a good time to maybe get casein and drink it right before bed. You have a lot of options, that's all I'm trying to say. You can also drink a shake, whey or casein, right before your workout and right after your workout because that's what I did. Holy shit. Step four, what to mix it with. So this is honestly completely up to you. If you are someone who wants to gain weight, go ahead and drink that shit with milk. Taking it with milk though will benefit you if you are someone who wants to gain weight because of those extra calories. I don't like milk. 
But milk gives extra protein, so if you like milk, dude, fucking do it. I personally try to cut my dairy intake down to like nothing. The only thing I eat that's dairy is like Greek yogurt. But I drink my protein shakes with almond milk and it's so fucking good. <laughs> try that shit out. But you can drink it with almond milk, milk, oak milk, soy milk, coconut milk, whatever fucking liquid that you want, mix it. Fuck. It's your world. But if you do get casein, keep in mind that it's really thick because it is so slow digesting it can absorb so much liquid so you gotta put a lot of liquid in that hoe compared to whey like i just mentioned before like whey takes like eight ounces and it's good i do like 12 ounces of almond milk with casein to be like the same consistent consistency as whey but if this video helped you out go ahead and give it a like or a comment down below and i'll keep making more similar to this if you are someone who struggles with finding out a good program that works for you go ahead and head to my website gainsbygrace.com and check out my booty blaster program i have the version at gym i have the version at home it comes with all about nutrition all about whether you need to do cardio or not finding your body type sample meals a grocery list and then a 10 week training program that can be cycled over and over and over and over i still use it to this very day so go ahead and check that out at my website gainsbygrace.com if you'd like to see a breakdown of how protein and other supplements work go ahead and click that notification bell button so you don't miss out on my next video in the meantime go ahead and check out these two videos right here to help you figure out how to grow your how to grow your glutes a little bit better thank you for watching and i wish you and your booty the best and i will see you in my next video